guys, if you think about the homeless on your streets, I don't care where you are, you've got them. If you think about the homeless on your streets in, in any mid-size or large city, they weren't there five or six years ago, were they? Right? I used to live downtown for 16 years. I could count and I knew every homeless person down there. There's about 10 of them, max. There's 200 now downtown. And it was like overnight. And it was like, why? And it's because you got to a point where even the worst slumlord could choose their tenants because you have an effective vacancy rate of zero in countless cities now across Canada, North America, right across the wealthy world, even Sao Paulo, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where Reed and I have an, uh, an investment down there. Like it has jumped up massively everywhere, the homeless situation. So, uh, and why I'm, you're probably like, Reese, why are you going on a tangent? Not really. Because what I'm explaining to you guys is, is if you jump on this kind of bandwagon where you're creating extra residential density, you're solving a pain point for society. And whenever you're investing in solving a pain point for society, your risk plummets and your profit margins go up, right? So I, like, and I've got a good friend uh, that actually focuses on the other major pain point, which is a shortage of labor. Right. There's a shortage of labor in Canada. What does he do? He's into automation and robotics and all these other things. He started companies that are creating, um, you know, robots to do very simple tasks because we don't have the workers to do these simple tasks. He's going after another pain point. So my point is, guys, if you're a real estate investor, understand that, yeah, you can be somebody that just buys a fourplex. That doesn't solve a societal problem. That fourplex is already there. Society doesn't really care if you own it or somebody else owns it. But as soon as you buy a house and you add a mother-in-law suite, you add that additional dwelling unit, you're now solving multiple problems of society. 